Well, welcome to the month of August, and I want to say thank you to those of you who have been journeying faithfully throughout the whole month of July as we go through the different books of the Bible and a verse of the day. Today we turn to one of my favorite books in the Bible, which is the book of Jonah. And in Jonah chapter 4 and verse 9, it says, But God said to Jonah, Is it right for you to be angry about the bush? And he said, Yes, angry enough to die. Well, Jonah is unique in the Minor Prophets in that there are no oracles, there are no spoken words against Israel or foreign nations, and rather what we have is this wonderful little four-chapter narrative about the prophet himself. But a prophet unlike the other prophets in the Bible, because Jonah is not an obedient, devoted servant of the Lord. Rather, he's a reluctant prophet who runs away from his mission. And he boards a ship heading west rather than going east to Nineveh because he doesn't want to bring the word of the Lord to the capital city of the people he considers his enemies. And in fact, when he finally does, he sulks when his hearers actually receive his message and repent in sackcloth and in ashes. And it's interesting that in the book of Jonah, God asked the prophet not once but twice, is it right for you to be angry? And I find that's a very helpful question that we all can be asking ourselves. When we feel anger or rage rising up within us, the first thing I would encourage you to do is to hear the voice of the Lord speaking to you through the book of the prophet Jonah, asking you, is it right for you to be angry? I love this little book that so skillfully weaves the call of Israel and all nations to an attitude of humble repentance before the Lord, and a reminder not only to Israel, but now to us, that we have a message to share with all the nations of the wideness of God's mercy grace and forgiveness because we worship a God of second chances and that means God gives you second chances and me as well.